Hi everyone, my name is Apurva and welcome to this video on how to set up the 8-bit 202 controller for your Anki. So I got this controller on Amazon for $20 about 6 months ago and ever since I got it, I feel like it has taken my Anki game to the complete next level. It has made getting through cards much faster, much easier and uh, yeah, it has obviously saved my laptop's keyboard too. So uh, its battery life is pretty good, it lasts about 3-4 to four days on one charge, the, uh, the Bluetooth connectivity is also super convenient. And yeah, so the main issue I had was setting it up for the very first time. So I hope this tutorial helps you out. So this tutorial is specifically for Mac users, but if you're a Windows user, I'm going to be linking some other videos down below that you can check out. And if you have any other questions besides what I'm showing you on this tutorial, feel free to comment them below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And yeah, let's get into it. The first thing we want to do is connect the controller to your laptop. The controller comes with this manual and it is important to note that we will be using the keyboard mode. Press R and start and hold until you see the LED blink like this. Once it starts blinking, hold and press the button select until it is blinking continuously like this. Once it starts blinking continuously, you should be able to see the controller on your Bluetooth list. Click on it and it should connect. If it does not, press and hold start until the controller turns off and restart from the beginning. Now we're going to be downloading the software called Carabiner Elements. We need to use this to remap the keys in the controller to the buttons we actually want to use. Just make sure your controller is connected and now when you open Carabiner Elements you should be able to find 8-bit 202 on the target device list. You can add an item to add a key and we're now going to start remapping the keys. So right, what exactly is remapping your keys? So each button on your controller is a specific key on your laptop. So for example, the letter H is actually the uh, key X on your controller and I want to remap that X button as 1. So I've chosen from key H to key 1 and in the same manner we're going to be remapping the other keys. Now we're doing the key A which is actually the letter G on your laptop and we're remapping it to the number 2. So here's a full list of how I've remapped my keys. You can do it the same way as I have or you can remap them to a different number or a different format based on however you want to use your uh, controller. So this is how I've set up my controller. I use the X, A, Y, B keys for Anki which is again hard, good, easy. Then I use the L and R keys, both of them, for the spacebar. I use the uh, arrow keys for USMLE RX flashbacks. So then I hold the controller the other way around. And then I use the shortcuts A, S, and D. So yeah, this is how I've set up mine. But you can set it up however you'd like to. And yeah, that's it. I hope this tutorial helps you out.